coming back to the channel. It's always a huge thanks for coming back. And uh, don't forget, if you like what you see, drop a like down below. It really, really helps us. So today, as you can see, we are out in the wild. Um, if you didn't see last week's video, we finished up the O5 Plus ExoSwap kit that we are making for these shrugs. And today, like I said, we are testing it out in the wild. And uh, we're definitely having fun with it. There she is, looking good as always. And um, I am super excited with how this thing has been performing. Um, hopefully you guys like that intro, uh, you know, driving through some little things here and there. Um, we definitely got ourselves, like I said, deep in the woods. And there's this little section um, where we got those rocks and everything that I think we might struggle, but I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, the only thing that worries me about this thing is that it's got completely open divs. So no limited slip, no locker, nothing. So uh, we'll see how bad we got ourselves out here. So anyways, uh, let's jump back into this thing, make our way back up, make sure that we can go up that hill. And then also my friend and I, who uh, is getting all these cool shots for me, we're gonna have some fun with some view views before we go back home. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so as you saw, we've been driving down this little road for a little bit and we got to that part that I told you that I think is gonna get a little bit hairy. Hopefully not. Uh, like I said, the only reason why I think that it might get a little hairy um, is because that thing is uh, open divs completely front and rear. So uh, we'll make it, we'll make it pretty easy. I just gotta choose, nah, this, is, this is nothing. As you can see some uh, other trucks have tried getting through here and they've struggled a little bit, but I think if we pick the right line, which is basically just right down the middle right there, we'll be fine. It definitely looked uh, worse from inside the truck. And I think if we try going like on this stuff, then I think it would definitely get a little bit harder, but now nah, we got this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do this. Also check out that thing looks mm, sexy. I love it. The truck, not that dude, but anyways. Uh, I do have the tires aired down quite a bit just to give me one more traction and make it more enjoyable to be on these uh, dirt roads because um, it's definitely not fun when you're bouncing around. Okay guys, so I kind of wanted to come in here real quick and add some notes to this thing. So obviously as you can see, uh, I am definitely not an off-roader. Um, I love uh, off-roading and stuff like that, but I've never really done it that much. and. Uh, that's something that this year I want to definitely get more into and it'll be a bigger part of the videos. Um, but yeah, definitely this little obstacle at, at the time and when it was there, I think I was just honestly kind of a little bit more nervous. Um, but yeah, it was definitely nothing. Uh, here we were going at it in uh, two-wheel drive just to see how it would uh, handle it. And uh, obviously it, uh, handled it handled it very poorly, <laughs> didn't get over it, but um, You'll see later on in the video that uh, it went right over it, no problem. And um, this video was actually taken with a drone, and uh, a few of the shots were taken with the drone, and I forgot to record just the audio of the truck, uh, which is why a lot of these um, shots are have music over them. But I did leave a few other videos that um, are gonna be basically just the the truck noises because I know that you guys love hearing that and uh, so do I but anyways uh, I'm gonna leave it right there uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the video
Okay guys, so I got this thing all, uh, you probably can't tell, but I got this thing all flexed out on this little, I guess, hill. And I did it to try and get a thumbnail, but we, we can't get out. Good old OBS uh, frame flex. So I got my buddy over there, Trujillo, being uh, the cameraman. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, very short video of my off-roading adventure. Um, honestly, it was, it was, I, I don't think it was even light off-roading. It was pretty easy, um, but I did have a good time. And like I said, I'm basically a complete new at uh, off-roading and it's something that I really want to get into uh, this year. Um, I think within a week or two, we might hit another trail. Um, there's really not a lot of good trails uh, where I'm at. And um, unfortunately, a lot of them are getting closed. Like I'm pretty sure that one we were on, we weren't supposed to be on it. Um, and I'm gonna, but I, I am gonna try and find some other cool stuff here around Arizona that I can show you guys. Uh, cause, cause that was a lot of fun to film. Uh, definitely him and I, we both want to get better. Uh, me at driving and uh, him at being a pilot on his drone. Uh, but regardless, we had a blast. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> don't judge me too much. Like I said, I was kind of nervous. You know. It was, thinking that I was going to struggle more than it did, but the truck definitely did great. Um, some of those bigger rocks that it was getting over, I think they were definitely over a foot tall. Um, so they weren't, you know, super easy. But again, the truck did way better than I thought it was going to do. And again, right now I'm super happy with the kit. Everything has been performing amazingly great. I've had it on the highway already a few times and uh, hopefully, I got a call tomorrow to make an appointment to get this thing actually aligned again. It, it still drives super straight, super nice, uh, no weird vibrations or anything. So I know it'll pass just fine, but I want to, you know, have that. But yeah, again, super, super happy with this thing. Uh, one thing that I do want to try uh, next time that I go off-roading with it is I want to disconnect the sway bars and see how much better it does flexing. Because I know that that thing, the sway bar definitely doesn't help the flexing plus with that being radius arms it's just horrible horrible flex but again had a uh but again had a great time on this thing uh definitely we're definitely very excited and i'm already thinking of upgrades that we're going to do to this thing to make it better off-road um definitely getting rid of those radius arms is going to be uh <laughs> a big priority of mine but i definitely want to add a locker probably to the back of this thing uh, it'd be super cool if we could find a uh a sterling ten and a half with a locker already on it but uh i doubt i'm gonna find anything like that around my area so we might end up just going with an air locker or something like that um, which i want to add an onboard air compressor to this thing anyway so i might do that and i don't know about the front Again, it's it's expensive adding all those things, so I don't know when I'm actually gonna be able to do it, but uh, I definitely wanna start getting this thing more ready for off-road adventures because it was honestly a blast. And like I said, I've always loved that stuff when I was younger in high school. Um, I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee, and uh, my buddy and I would take that up to uh, the mountains back when I used to live in Colorado. That's I didn't go to Colorado. Well, I I did go back in. Uh, October but anyways uh, that's where I'm from Colorado I live in Arizona now but regardless we used to go up uh, to the Rockies and have some fun in that thing but like I said that was way back in high school and uh, I definitely definitely want to get back into that and like I said hopefully this year we can make that a bigger part of the channel so definitely uh, let me know what you thought about it guys drop a comment down below tell me if you like it if you're excited to see more content like that and um, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with a bonus video after this one of a cold start that I did this morning on it. And uh, yeah, again, drop a like, leave any comments down below. Uh, let me know if you're excited for the axle swap kits on this thing. We're getting this close now, so I am super excited about it. But yeah, again, leave your comments, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this, and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Okay, guys, who wants to see a real quick uh, bonus cold start? of the OBS 7.3. I know that I do. It's not that cold anymore. I mean, I guess you can still sort of see my breath. It's 27 degrees, but it got down to like in the teens last night. So it's a little chilly, but uh, we'll see how this thing does.